From Divine Brothor of the Light, Sean Caulfield. Pyramid Full Moon, One Star. Night of the Ninth Wave. Recover, rest, heal, dream the new earth. The understanding of the equation says that until 2011-12 time was controlled by an incomplete state of consciousness. What this did was it allowed a self-serving governing force that worked through the all-seeing eye at the top of the pyramid to manipulate the collective consciousness. But now since the completion of the universal time pyramid, the intention to manipulate has to work with a complete and transparent state of consciousness. Hence everything is being seen for what it is, everything is being forced to be humble to the will of the source creator of the universe. Today is one star, rabbit, lamat. One initiates. Lamad is the appreciation of the growth accomplished. Upon deeper reflection and a high level of understanding, one can see that the consciousness of each level is a large scale of time that begins with one star. The first 18 days of the ninth level was one star from the 9th to the 26th of March 2011. So the last 13 days of the 260 days old Keen that begins today, aligns consciousness to being complete to the beginning. One star hence aligns to the completion of all nine ascending creation waves of universal time. The timing code of the universal source calendar, the Maya, Aztec, and other ancient timekeepers worked with, says, Bolon Yokteku. Being the nine cosmic creative forces of creation have fully descended on earth and are now merging the collective consciousness through a convergence point, ascension. Because of this equation, the seventh day of all nine levels is looping through the beginning conception spark of divine time and doing this as it shifts into the seventh night on all levels. The Source Creator's divine time resonance that emanates from the cosmic axis, Tree of Life, within, has evolved creation to the top of the pyramid. Hence the limiting duality of the physical reality is being transcended to become infinitely multidimensional and be without separation and without limits. In other words, the separating forces of our world that have governed the duality of the physical are gradually fading away. The veils of separation are dissolving, yet paradoxically, the resistance to this happening is stronger than ever. The resistance is being held in the shadows of the heartless mind. The prophecy says that when the eagle and the condor fly together, the phoenix will rise from the ashes of the memory of time, allowing the collective consciousness to walk together as one heart and give birth to a multidimensional new earth of unconditional love and peace between all nations. This moment is happening now, and the indigenous sacred ceremonies are returning in support. Kamagu, from the heart, Sean, in the 122nd night of the ninth wave, 18 days on a larger of time of 10, Baats, monkey, from rockartgallery.com.